Hi and welcome to Airlock videos. In these videos we show you how to use the Airlock Lock Viewer with Kibana. It's a series of videos, so make sure to check all the videos. This series of videos will cover the topics analyzing, monitoring, security and troubleshooting the Airlock Locks with Kibana. All features and filters in Kibana are available in Airlock WAF 7.1. The shown data are generated for demo purposes only and might look differently in a production environment. We start with the first video, how to analyze attacks. Imagine you open up the Alloc Configuration Center and you see a lot of attacks and different type of attacks. Obviously, you want to analyze these attacks if you need to apply certain countermeasurements and or find correlations between those attacks. To do that, we use predefined dashboards and filters in Kibana. So let's have a look. If you click on the log viewer in the configuration center, Kibana will open up and you will see the following dashboard. We have a couple of predefined dashboards and to analyze attacks, we will click on WAF attacks. All displayed data in Kibana are for a certain time period. By default, Kibana shows us data from the last 24 hours. If you want to change the period, then you can click here on the top right corner and the time range dialog will appear. So let's explain what we see here. The first two graphs shows us attacks by type. Depending on the settings on your airlock WAF mapping, an attack can be detected and blocked, shown here on the left graph, or can only be logged but will pass through to the backend here on the right. On the attack map, shown as attack origins, we see where the attacks has originated from. All points in the map have a specific color depending on the attack count. The attack heat map gives us information on the count of attacks on a specific mapping. The mapping are listed on the Y axis, while the attack type are on the X axis. If we hover over a cross section, you will find the total count of a specific attack type for this mapping. And if we scroll down a bit, we see a word cloud and a pie chart with the most counted attacks. Again, the display data represents the last 24 hours. If you want to change the timeline, click on the top right corner to change the time range. So. Let's try to drill down a specific attack and analyze the data further. Each diagram in this dashboard is interactive and can be used to further analyze the data. We call it drill down. Let's say we want to filter for the attack type HTML injection. The easiest way is to click on the attack type in the work cloud. Now we see that a filter has been added on the top here and the dashboard shows only the corresponding data to this specific attack type. And if we see the map here, it seems that Spain seems a popular source for HTML injection attacks. Now, if we want to save this filter, we can pin it. Pinning a filter allows you to craft filters in one part of Kibana and bring those filters with you to all the other parts. We can pin a filter by clicking on the pin icon. If we change now to the discover view, the pinned filter will be applied. Now we see all the blocked requests with attack type HTML injection. Okay, let's try to analyze the log entries. In the next step, we want to analyze the session with an HTML injection attack. To do that, we need to customize the discovery view so we can see the session ID in the list. The left column shows the selected fields and the available fields. Selected fields are on the top, 
the available fields are underneath. To add a filter to the column, we can click on one field, session ID. A column has been added on the right called session ID. Okay, we see there are log entries that have no session ID. If we want, we can exclude all log entries that has no session ID. To do that, I can simply click on the minus icon on a session ID without any information. What happened is Kibana added a second filter with an exclude option. Now we can only see log entries with session ID. One line represents a document. If we want to see all the attributes of a document, we can click on this arrow sign. Another way to analyze a text would be to use the saved searches. On the top, we have a navigation bar where we can find the link open. On the open link, we see a couple of predefined search filters. If I click here on request rough blocked requests, the filter is being applied. So what we see now here is that the pinned filter is still being applied. If you want to delete a pinned filter, we just simply click on the trash icon.